Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm going to recap a 2011 Thailand drama biographical movie called The Billionaire. This movie tells the story of a young entrepreneur in building his snack empire, Tao Kei Noi. He was determined to establish the company to help his parents pay off their debts. So, what are the problems that he faced? How can he have achieved it? Let's find it out. At the start of the movie, we are introduced to Top, a 19-year-old boy who wants to take a loan of 10 million Thailand baht, or around 300,000 USD, to make a factory. The bank manager asked him the reason he should lend the money. He then explains about his history. When in high school, he loves to play games and get a lot of money from it. He starts with selling an in-game item for 12,000 baht. Then, he buys a car by selling more rare items. His parents don't agree about it and ask him to focus on high school. After graduating, he fails in getting into a public university. But he doesn't care about it and continues to play games. Due to the ease of getting the money, he spends it lavishly on electronics. One day, his parents ask him to apply for a private university which is expensive. He also overhears his parents complaining about facing a financial problem. He cannot help them because his game account has been blocked due to commercial activities and he doesn't have much savings left. Determined to help his parents, he tries to resell DVD players with his remaining savings. Unfortunately, he fails because he was tricked by the supplier. Seeing that Top has failed, his father recommends him to enter university and abandon his business. Father gives him money to enter the private university, but he refuses. Because he doesn't want to be dependent on his troubled parents. At night, he steals one of father's jewelry and pawns it with a promise that he will buy it back later. He uses the money to enter a private university. While studying, Top skips his class and goes to a food processor exhibition. There, he rented an automatic peanut cooker to open a new business. He learns how to cook peanuts from a seller and implements it. Turns out, his food is delicious. Then, Top and his uncle open a tenant in a mall. There, they fail because there is no customer buying. After trying several locations, sales go up and Top starts to hire some staff. Top's girlfriend reminds him to come back and focus on his study, but he is still determined on building a business. Because of his absence, he dropped out of his university. To add to his problem, his business also fails because the smoke from the peanut cooking process pollutes them all. His parents ask him to go to China with them to start a new life. However, he is still determined to be a businessman and pay his family's debt so that they may stay in Thailand. After some consideration, his parents leave him and go to China. Then, Top finds that his house has been collateralized for a bank loan and is about to be seized. When he is feeling down, he meets girlfriend who is angry because he hasn't been replying to her messages. While he is taking her home, she brings out fried seaweed that she bought from overseas. The seaweed is delicious and he wants to sell this product for his next business. He asks a professor on how to preserve the fried seaweed in a package. Professor explains that he has to use a vacuum machine to suck the oxygen out of the package and kill the bacteria. Determined to start his new business, he sells his automatic peanut cooker and buys new materials and tools. Unluckily, his first attempt fails. The fried seaweed always tastes bitter. He sells his electronics to buy more raw seaweed. Even though Uncle frequently persuades Top to follow his parents to China, he still doesn't lose hope in establishing a business. During their attempt at making a delicious recipe, Uncle got into an accident and had to be hospitalized. That night, a package fell on the floor and rain poured on it. Top continues his attempt without Uncle but also meets no luck. When he runs out of stock, he tries to fry the rain-drenched seaweed. He finds the seaweed delicious because of the water moisture inside the package. He brings it to Uncle and Uncle also likes it. After Uncle has recovered, they start to sell the fried seaweed and succeed. Top sets a personal sales target of 1 million baht a year. When his parents call, he finds out that the family's debt is actually 40 million baht, or 1.2 million US dollars. He got desperate because of the shocking number. He listens to some motivational records to boost his morale and gets back to his feet. When visiting 7-Eleven, he realizes that he can sell his snacks in the shop to boost his sales. The next day, he visits 7-Eleven's office and pitches his product to the director. The director rejects his proposal because his package design is so poor and the price is too expensive. Once more faced with disappointment, girlfriend tries to cheer him up and says that her parents can help his financial problems. Due to his integrity, he rejects the offer. The next day, Top asks a local designer to design his product's wrap. 
Designer says that the product's name, Tao K. Noi, which means young entrepreneur, is good enough and needs no adjustment. After he repackages his product, he brings it to the office once more to show to the director. However, the director is very busy that day and he is left waiting. He finally surrenders and gives his snack to the office's security. He also calls mother to inform that he is coming to China. Luckily, his product is loved by 7-Eleven staff. The office invites Top to an appointment with the boards. In the meeting, the director commends him for making a delicious snack. The director also adds that he has to produce 72,000 packages for 6,000 branches to be a partner. His factory will also be inspected for hygiene concerns. He agrees to the requirements and comes to a bank. Turns out, he applies for a 10 million baht loan to fund his new factory. The bank manager congratulates him for making it so far. But he rejects Top's proposal because he is still 19 years old and his family has a huge debt. Again, this time Top still pushes forward. He uses his parents' old shop which is in the process of being confiscated by the bank. He sells his car to fill his new factory and hires new staff. When he is shopping, he finds that his girlfriend is already with someone else. He is saddened because his girlfriend was so kind and caring. After much preparation, the factory is ready and the director comes with an inspector. They are unsatisfied with the factory's sanitation and see that Top is unfit. The director says that they will discuss first and the result will be sent later. After they have fixed the factory's problems, Top gets approval from the director. He is overjoyed and ramps up his production to meet the required number. When preparing for delivery, Top hugs Uncle and expresses his gratitude. He also says that if they fail again this time, he will follow his parents' will to study and live in China, because he has sold everything for the business. When he arrives at the warehouse, the warehouse manager says that his delivery is one hour late and cannot be accepted. He begs to him and says that he has sacrificed a lot for this. The warehouse manager pities him and accepts his packages. Feeling relieved, he calls his parents to say that they can finally come home to Thailand. At the end of the movie, we are informed that two years after the cooperation with 7-Eleven, Top pays off his parents' debt of 40 million baht and can reoccupy the house together. Top also applies for a loan of 400 million baht to expand his factory. In 2010, Top has 2,500 employees. He sends his products to 6,000 7-Eleven branches and exports his seaweed snack to 27 countries around the world. Top also owns a seaweed plantation in South Korea and generates 1.5 billion baht, 45 million US dollars, in sales at the age of 26 years old. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like and comment to help the channel out. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.